my god, this thing's torque as fuck. It's just power wheelies. What is going on, YouTube? As you can see, I'm on my new bike. I'm, I've got my concerns about this exhaust. It's very loud. So I'm worried that it might affect my vlogs a little bit, my vlogs, my moto vlogs. That's cool. I wish I knew how to skateboard. I'd totally come here. Maybe I could take my motorcycle on it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Bad idea. Let's do a little bit of a walk around, guys. A fucking 2005 R6 Raven Edition. I'll be honest, guys. This bitch is pretty bad. It's uh, it's pretty fucking awesome. This is definitely the nicest bike I've ever owned. Um, for 2005, it just looks spotless. And I know a lot of you guys had questions about this exhaust, how it's a little dinged up. The previous owner pulled this off of a bike that was totaled, so that's why it looks all fucking jacked up. This bike hadn't been dropped or anything like that. I've already got my bar mirrors installed. That was important. I had to get my bar mirrors installed. Um, although I'm waiting on my plugs to show up here so this doesn't vibrate and shit when I'm driving. So I'm going to have two plugs here and a plug there. And uh, I'm, I'll take off those and I'll, I'll go just uh, bar mirrors. But tell you what, guys, to be honest, I couldn't be any happier with this bike. This bike's fucking awesome. But let's go do some talking and shit. Yeah, right now I'm still trying to figure out the whole like wheelie thing on this bike. It's just like it's just so easy to power wheel if I want to just. fucking goes man and real quick before I start getting talking on this subject let me ask you guys a question about um, your motorcycles so compared to my last bike the steering is very loose and fluid it's just smooth like I'm not used to this right but I notice every time I shift and you guys might be able to see in the video but every time I, I get really hard in the shift my handlebars jiggle a little bit and I wonder if it's because I'm being too violent or if it's because my steering's too loose or what but I definitely need to in invest in the steering dampener steering damper steering dampers dampener whatever but I think I need to definitely invest in one of those because I've, I've been I've already been put in a, uh, a tank slapper you know I'll be honest I forced myself into a tank slapper this is None of you guys are going to agree with me on this, but I was comfortable with the way my last bike was set up and it, it, would, it would never do a tank slapper. I've, I've tried to force it into one, it wouldn't go. So I tested myself on this bike and I forced it into a tank slapper once or twice to see what it felt like and to see if I could get in control of it. And uh, it's actually, <laughs> I, just, I know it sounds crazy and it is, it's stupid. I would never suggest it. It's just something I do to test the limits of my bikes. It's fucking dumb, I know. But all I did was I would just force the handlebars into a tank slapper and then try to maintain control of it. And it was, it wasn't that hard, it's, it's terrifying. But I was still able to, to maintain control on this bike, even a tank slapper. So that, that gives me some mental support, I guess. But it's just scary to me to think about how soft and how smooth the steering is. So I think I'm gonna definitely invest in one of those um, single mount steering dampeners, dampers, whatever right there that goes right there let me, let me go ahead and tell you uh, why I'm so excited about this bike and why I'm happy to have such a nice bike a couple of years ago my motorcycle adventure started at $300 I spent $300 and bought a bike uh, a shitty bike a really shitty bike which I fixed up and sold and I continued to do this process where I would buy shitty bikes and fix them up and sell them up until uh, up until here, this this bike started at three hundred dollars. I've made enough of a profit at every single motorcycle where I could turn into a profit and not worry about it, and then just turn around and make more money. All right, turn around and I'll take the profit from the motorcycle and go buy a motor another motorcycle and then do the same thing. So that's that's how this whole thing started for me was buying shitty motorcycles and fixing them up and now I'm at this which is the, the nicest fucking motorcycle I've ever owned. I'm ecstatic about this. 
so that's just kind of like a little bit of a background I guess on uh, motorcycles for me I can't believe that I own such a nice piece of equipment do I have any uh, plans to modify this? A little bit. I definitely think I need to lower it. I, I, I can't flat foot it, which I'm not comfortable with. So I'm gonna lower it maybe an inch. Um, it's already got a power commander. I love the exhaust on it. I'm, I'm still debating whether or not I should keep this or go stock or like a, like an aftermarket that's not, you know, just reaming my ears loud. Cause this, this exhaust is really loud. I get 6,000 RPM and up. It's just deafening is cool it's like my old magna i enjoyed my old magna but as long as it doesn't affect my vlogs i probably won't care as long as my vlogs aren't affected i'll probably leave it on to the uh subject at hand that's titled in the video helmet giveaway what the fuck is this guy doing okay you're gonna get <laughs> that was weird the title of this video is helmet giveaway and let me explain this um i am no longer able to wear my mohawk helmet the other day I was pulled over, not pulled over, I was uh, waved down by someone in my neighborhood. A reliable source, I'll give him that, said that uh, cops are out looking, I'll, I'll try to quote him exactly. The fella said, hey buddy, he has southern accent, hey buddy listen, just want to let you know that there's cops looking everywhere out for people, the bikes that have been going in and out of this neighborhood. Uh, zipping in and out of this neighborhood. They're coming in here a couple times a day looking for, for the bikes that are zipping in and out of the neighborhood along with a couple cars. I presume that he's talking about my blue bike at this point. <laughs> and uh, he goes, listen, now, <laughs> if you see that dude with the, if you see that dude with the spikes on his helmet, tell him to, because they're looking for him. <laughs> and I go, and he's like, he's like, do you know the dude with the spikes on his helmet? The blue bike and spikes on his helmet? I said, I, I believe I've seen him around. He's like, well, if you see him, tell him too that the cops are looking for him. They're looking for him specifically. And I said, I will in fact do that. This isn't a joke, guys. This actually happened. So I, I then confirmed with one of my, my friends that there is a lookout for the dude with the spiked helmet. So, I can't wear the spiked helmet in my town anymore. But here's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna give the helmet away. Since I can't wear it, I'm, I think I'm gonna give it away. It's the white and orange one that I, I painted up myself. And I'm, I, what I'll do is I'll sign it, and then I'll do a giveaway. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna give it away yet. Um, I think it's gonna be something involving my Facebook because Facebook's easier to talk to people and communicate who the winners are and shit like that. So I'll do something with Facebook. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do the helmet giveaway. I'll sign it and I'll give it away. I'll even fucking pay for shipping. You guys won't have to pay a dime. It'll be a giveaway. I'll figure out how to choose the winner and whatnot soon, but I can't wear it around my town anymore, so, so I'll figure I'll give it to, uh, that was fucking close. I'll figure I'll give it to one of you guys, one of my loyal fans, you know? I just love that sound. I will maybe in the future put my, uh, put my spikes on the helmet. Like I said, right now, I, I've got local law enforcement on me, so I need to kind of back off on certain things. Now don't worry guys, there's still gonna be plenty of wheelies. I plan on that. You can, I can guarantee you there's gonna be more wheelies. Matter of fact, as soon as I get more comfortable with this bike in particular, as far as doing wheelies, because this bike is a completely different ball game. It's got, it redlines at 2,000 more RPM than my last bike. The RPM range is completely different. My second gear is like my last bike's third gear. Uh, first gear is about 65, 70 miles an hour on this bike. It's just, like, it's ridiculous. So I have to really get used to this bike. I'm hoping that the exhaust isn't too loud. Because <clears throat> I can barely hear myself talk. But it, no, oh, it's just, it just sounds so good. It's so worth it. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Give me that exhaust. Yeah, put that exhaust in my ears. Well, uh, I've also got a funny video. One of my really good friends, my buddy Frank, uh, he's a six foot, I think he's six six. Big tall guy. He's about to get his first bike. We're gonna go pick it up today. So I'm bringing my helmet with me and I'm gonna motor vlog a little bit on the way back because he needs someone to drive it. He doesn't know how to drive a bike yet. So I'm gonna go pick up my buddy's motorcycle with him. I'm excited about that. Hey buddy, you want your lawn mower back? 
I'm a little scared of this bike. A little bit, yeah. It just feels so different and reacts so different to what I'm normally used to. So, it's, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit for me to like get used to. But I love it, you know. I'm so happy that I made this decision. So I just, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And the reason I'm driving up here is because the other day, I um, can't remember what it was, I think it's Friday? What's today? Oh, that's it right there, that spot. There's a really nasty oil, uh, there's a really nasty uh, motorcycle accident. I didn't get to, see, I'm glad I didn't have to see it happen, but I did see them loading the carcass of the motorcycle on the back of a truck. And I don't think that guy lived. I don't think there's any way that guy lived. If he did, I mean, someone's watching out for him because uh, that bike was just fucking nothing. The, what, the front forks were gone, there was no fairings on it, the back wheel was bent, I mean, it was awful. So it makes you kind of wonder if the guy died or not. He probably did, I hate to say it, but I mean, statistically speaking, motorcycle accidents, not a good look. That wasn't bad. It's just so fucking torquey, I am not used to it. I'm turning around. There's cops up ahead. Whoa! See? Fucking tank? Tank slapper almost. So I have to get... I have to get used to it, man. Not cool. This bike's got some crazy wobble to it. And I don't know how to just adjust that. If I could fix that, I would. See, this shit's got me all types of worried. If you guys have any advice for that, please let me know. Man, I want some ice cream now. God, this bitch is pretty. I gotta think of a name. Does anybody else name their bikes? I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't want to name it something gay like Raven. I was thinking something like Black Bitch. No, is that too offensive? Uh, I feel like that's offensive. Because uh, my last bike was old blue. Well, she's big and she's black and she don't give up for no man, so I'm going to name her Shaniqua. Come on, Shaniqua. I don't even know how steering dampers work. All I know is that this weird box goes on to your bike, and then magic happens, and then your bike is safe forever. Is that fucking Spires? What up, Bo? Yeah, what's up, man? is a beast, bruh. <laughs> Did I just say bruh? Who am I? Paul Walker from Too Fast, Too Furious? What the fuck? Nobody says bruh. What the fuck is wrong with me? Oh man, I might have to redo the Baker uh, 0 to 100 challenge on my new bike. I, I really want to be able to do clutch ups in third gear on this bike. I'm oh, I'm doing a third gear clutch up. Yes. This bike is fucking torquey enough to do third gear clutch ups. That's so awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Third gear clutch ups for days, bitches. This completely changes the wheelie game, motherfuckers. I can do third gear sit down clutch ups. That's exactly what I wanted, man. I don't, I don't really get this. I mean, like, like it seems cool. I don't, I don't, why, why? For storage purposes, what am I, where am I storing? Maybe for like setting things on? I don't, just why? Oh, come on, where's, where's that, where's that gauge at? Oh, man. Oh, dude, 110 on my new bike already? That's pretty quick. 